turn that off. Dork. There's his dancing. Right. All right. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. Yeah, me. That's RJ. All right, so to start things off today, we're going to be in the chapel, and our Bible verse is Acts 2, 42. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. And we hope that every day this week you find one way to be the Christian that is called to action to do one of those things, to hopefully influence your world in a better way. So, what's in the barn stalls? There's good, bad, and ugly in the barn stalls, huh? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first, Fudgy had a baby, right? Millet. Carrie. Carrie. That was like two weeks ago. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. You're right. Fudgy Fudgy's two twins <clears throat> are doing great. Fudgy and Melody had babies last week. Okay. All right? They had babies last week. Then, this week, Carrie and Reba had babies. Uh, Carrie, Reba was the ugly, huh? Yeah, well, Carrie's baby's up and doing good. I'm going to turn him out today. He's been in the barn since it's been raining for the past three days. After the ice melts. Uh, it's not really icy out. <laughs> it was this morning. So, um. Anyway. Yeah. So, start with... And then... Most of our week was taken by, or at least three days of it. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, then Reba's had her baby, and she wasn't supposed to be bred, and she had it Tuesday. So, we ended up pulling the baby, and she didn't clean on it or anything. Um, we think Jethro cleaned it up, but... She's still in the barn. She's still very weak um, and really thin. So we're trying to get her. And then we had the baby, and he was doing all right. He never really got up and around as good as what I was wanting. Um, but he ended up passing. What was it? Thursday night. So he got pneumonia and just couldn't. He was found in a mud puddle. So, I mean, mm. he didn't have a great start to begin with. It was icy, icy that morning. Yeah, it was cold and <coughs> icy and rainy, and so. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we did our best, correct? Mm -hmm. And we were doing great till his fever spiked back up. And then we just, it came back with a vengeance. We'd get it down a little bit, and it would come back twice as bad. And just couldn't get it to stay down, so. Um, I'm sure that's ultimately what caused him to pass, is whatever was causing that fever. Mm. Correct? Yep. But one of the things about lambs is they're a perfect blend of balance. They can't regulate their body heat, but if their mom can do what she does perfectly, they'll make it. Um, when one is left abandoned or cold or wet and in a mud puddle, the chances of getting that balance back is really hard. Um, you can actually warm them too fast. You can warm them too slow. You can warm them, you know. Mm -hmm. We do the best we can with the advice that we have on the vet. So, anyway, it is what it is. Um, I was going to look up and see how many more we had to go. Um, I think we just have a couple of Morenos. We've got Baby Girl, Gertie. Four, five. Well, the thing is, is we had talked about not breeding Gertie, so we had pulled her. But if Reba's bred, then Gertie might be bred. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. So we just have, I think, the Big Mama, Hershey, pretty much the Morenos. Right? Mm hmm So, all right. Moving on. Mending fences. What do we have to fix this week? Um, you were fixing Sister's floor, but that doesn't count because that's in the farmhouse. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Um, things have been kind of quiet, right? I fixed on some fence out there. 
Where Durf and I saw her. Oh, that's right. Okay, so tell about Durf and his lovely tearing down of the fence. Fence, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <coughs> Just, Just happens, huh? Yep. All right. In the yarn farm. What are we working on in the yarn farm? We've got a ton of dates for upcoming events, right? Mm-hmm. Um. What's the next upcoming event? We go to the Wagner School mm-hmm. um, in the middle of March. So um, we have the contest winner thing going on, but that'll be done and over. And then um, we go to Wagner. And then anyone with a family pass, the farm opens two weeks early for them, mm-hmm. correct? Yep. So um, anybody with a farm pass will be. It'll be opened up to the middle of March, right? I think that's right. it. I think that's really it that's coming up for March. And then, of course, April is our grand opening. And then we have a bunch of dates on stuff that we're doing. So, what is the matter with you? <laughs> the fire is going. It's just kind of nippy in here. Um. Everything froze last night. We got a ton of rain, and then everything froze, and then it's just cold, nippy. All right, so in the field, oh, I started my basil. Lake straw has officially been filled. To what? Lake straw oh. has officially <laughs> been filled. It needs to be drained now, or we need some sunny. Flood and irrigation. That's what it is. It's been flood irrigating the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, we need some sunny and 75 or 80 degree weather, a little bit of wind, kind of dry things back out. Just or just give me a surfboard and make it 100 and I'll just go surfing. <laughs> that would be much more comical. Just days ago, though, people were saying, it's too dry. <laughs> I don't know, we need the rain. Damn, enough is enough. Especially when you look at the forecast and there's like six days out of the next 14 that's supposed to rain again. <laughs> so, we'll take that as flood irrigating the garden. Mm-hmm. Needs to warm up some grass. Yep. Yeah. Well, and it's supposed to do that too, isn't it? A little bit. Like today mm-hmm. it's supposed to be 60, 65. 58 right? is what they changed it to. Mm. When is it supposed to rain? It'll be 65. See. So spring is here, kind of, sort of. Mm-hmm. It's Oklahoma, Mom. You can't say spring because it's liable to snow tomorrow. That's true. All right. So that's in the field. Like I said, my basil's coming in, but I pot- started it in pots in the, in the inside. Yeah, it's got little green sprigs. Uh, uh, she kind of may have a green thumb now. Maybe I do. Anyway. We get some spray paint and we'll make that happen. All right. So our... Most happenings are going on in the farmhouse, correct? Really? What are they? What's going on? What did I do? That's all I see is two dogs sleeping and two people sitting here talking to a camera <laughs> what have you like been they're doing crazy. This week? Not, not a lot, really. You worked. Yeah, the last two days I did. Okay, and what did I do? I don't know, I wasn't home. What did I do Thursday? Oh, you went to Oklahoma City. Uh huh. Went, hung out with some friends, had a nice day, did a little shopping. No. Did too, you came home with stuff. Here we go. I didn't shop. But you came home with things, so you had to have picked things up. So, that could be classified as shopping. No, because you shopping with means I, I drove a bunch of people down, because I can't say all of them in the car were friends, okay? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Can't be. I took a friend and some other people. <laughs> um, one is is, I mean, he is what he is. Um, he is who he is, but he's very very anti-government on the way to a government-funded conference that he's going to for free. Just saying, and his whole uh, mindset is to tell you that if you can't 
farm without the government, you don't need to be in farming. As he's going to a government-funded <laughs> um, convention. <laughs> where they explore the many resources and have lots of workshops to help all of us and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, yeah, it is what it is. We took a bunch of car, a carload of people down to the conference. Um, it was very informative. Um, <laughs> there are a few conferences that I, or workshops that I probably shouldn't have gone to. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I did one on how to get more out of your land, and the guy had to cancel, so they filled him in with this guy that did irrigation, like the big overhead irrigation, and he was talking about how you have to get your computer right. Nobody there, we're all small farmers, none of us have those big overhead waterers like they do out in western Oklahoma, do they? <laughs> we're lucky to have drip irrigation. So, anyway, that was kind of pointless. So, and then the other, the other one that I kind of was a waste of my time, the lady putting it on, I was just disappointed. Um, she was talking about web pages and this, that, and that, and she couldn't make the computer do, she couldn't run her computer to get to where she needed to be, and she kept having to call somebody up there to do it for her. That just looks bad. Um... If you can't, why are you doing a presentation on something you yourself can't navigate? That that just, it was a waste of my time. Um, but, I did make some awesome connections with the Oni Project, correct? Which is my shopping. Hey, uh -huh. can you grab that black thing right there, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what you thought I was going to ask you to grab. But I'm already prepared. So first off, I got this as a door prize. Ooh, it's a little you bit actually won something? Wow. Yeah. Uh, Tristan won a big old bag of stuff. She won the uh, Made in Oklahoma thing. Okay, so. Don't show your cards. I know. Hang on. I am. Now there are a couple of resources on here that um, I got in a handout that what that I'm actually going to do. Um, and that's this one. And it's what you should have online. It's how to test the speed of your um, web page. The average person, they said, will leave your web page if your web page doesn't load in seven seconds now. So anyway, I connected with the Oni Project. And the Oni Project has lots of printed and written um, pamphlets and stuff that they so give does away. So the Oni Project own you? Because it says Oni. Well, own they, you. it's an acronym, and it's Oklahoma. Let's see here. Nutrition. Information and Education Project. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a oney. <laughs> it's Oni. 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 But anyway, they give away free calendars. They give away um, all kinds of nutritional stuff. And their participation in the farmer's markets and agritourism is that they have a ton of these um, information cards. So this is like an Apple one. And I have a complete Hi. set. I don't have a ring. I had to tie it because RJ doesn't have my ring. But like here's Apple. It tells you when it's in season how to select it, how to store it, and any helpful hints they have. And of course, it's got a picture of whatever on the top. So this is just apples. But on the back, different ones have different stuff. This one has a recipe to the sweet and sour chicken bowl. And guys, I'll tell you, that looks good. And it is made with apples. Yuck. Yeah. Anyway, well, so sweet and sour in the same sentence cannot be good for you. That's just not amazing. So they have two apple ones. The next one is a oatmeal, or I'm sorry, walnut oat apple crisp. Ew. Did you say oatmeal? So um, they sent for our teacher packets and our adult packets. They sent 100 copies of every one of those. 
Wait, that's not that's not right, guys. No noodle lasagna. That's not right. What's it made with? Zucchini. <laughs> Watermelon salsa. Uh huh. That doesn't even. That, that I can. I guess that could be okay. Spicy chicken and avocado salsa. No. With kiwis on it. <laughs> no way. No way. Summertime, Summertime spaghetti. spaghetti. Hey, spaghetti is not supposed to have broccoli in it, folks. Or tomatoes or anything like that. Well, well I, you it think has, tomato sauce is supposed to It's supposed to have tomato sauce, but it's supposed to have tomato sauce, meat, you know, that kind of thing. Not like chunks of tomatoes, broccoli, and whatever that other stuff is. Nope, 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 nope. Curled chicken when spinach. Curry. No. What are these? Turkey tarragon pieces. Yuck. <laughs> spaghetti squash mac. mac. Like mac is squash. supposed to be mac and cheese, not <laughs> spaghetti squash. Hell. Chicken soup. Hardy Homestyle's chicken soup. Uh, that one I... Lime roasted sweet potatoes. They do a lot with no. lime in them. Uh, uh, I was kind of surprised because there was another one that was lime something. Black bean... Potato black bean skillet. Nah. We'll pass on that. I'm not finding any of these. Summertime hummus Sunshine pasta. Sunshine hummus pasta. No. Mm -mm. Nope. No way. Hummus. Yuck. Granny used to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Rag yes. out? Yeah. No. Do what? No. He's not even reading them now. No. There's like peach salsa. No. Beefy sweet potato skillet, baked popcorn okra. He Ooh. doesn't like okra. Lisa Louisiana, Louisiana catfish. catfish. That, that Made okra, with okra. okra. Yeah, okra's off. He was off for the catfish. Kale. Kale barley soup. Ugh. Who even likes kale? Nobody likes kale. Eggplant parmesan. If any of you guys like kale, yeah. Sweet lime fish tacos. Make that beef tacos, and I might try a lime taco. Cilantro. Ew. Yeah, it's made with cilantro. I don't know what that is. All right. <laughs> Cauliflower mashed potatoes. No way. That just ruined mashed potatoes, guys. Just Carrot cake cookies. Ugh, that's a waste of cake. It's cookies. Carrot chicken stir fry. Nah. No, not even close cabbage roll casserole. Anyway. Pasta salad. Ooh. Okay, they're not going to listen to all of them, dude. Hey, I'm almost they done. They sent me a hundred copies. Um, sent me home with a hundred copies of the ones that they had there. And it's going to go in our teacher packets with seeds um, for the schools. So, we now get those free of charge. And if you are a health nut, these probably would pertain to you. nothing to do with health nut. It's from the garden. It's fresh from the garden. If you like Zucchini healthy food. mush... Zucchini muffins. Ew. He just doesn't like them because. Because he's a dork. Right? Hey, I liked your cinnamon rolls you made. They were good. They're not cinnamon rolls. If I told what you if... what the real name of it was, you'd go, Ugh. Well, no, It's I'm a pull-apart asking... coffee cake. Huh. <laughs> now hmm. look at him. Hmm. Coffee cake isn't made with coffee. It's not? Well, guys, I wow. learned something new today. I'm always learning something Yeah, because you scarfed yours down, huh? Yeah, I ate a whole plate full. Mm-hmm. Basically half a pan, because Mom took two little pieces, and then I <sighs> ate the rest. No, there's a whole pan over there still. There's half a pan over there, Mom. Okay. There's part of a pan. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good, though. We really, I have I gotten... I do kind of like coffee cake, I guess. I haven't gotten everything warped on the rugs, but I am making headway. Mainly because in that room... You can see your breath right now. I know. It, and you can generally see your breath like past week in there. So I know. nobody I just, wants to be in there. It's cold. And I've got just like 50 strands left to warp. Oh, and then I just have to roll it. Just 50. You can tough it out, Mom. Just go do it. You can do it. You can do it. I, I'm cold. facing you. You can do it. It's cold. What happened to my bench in there, though? Huh. <laughs> you broke it. I didn't break it. You did to break it. Okay, so when you go splat on the floor, <laughs> it's broken. But I didn't do it. I was just sitting there. So I was in there the other day, and it was actually getting to be night. And I had tried to. I really wanted to get those fifty done, 
and I was sitting there and I use an old, old piano bench for my weaving bench. And the legs have always been dry. Well, one decided it quits. <laughs> so now I was really good. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was sitting there and I'm just warping away and it just poof, and over it went and I was kind of left sitting on the floor. <laughs> so I moved to chair in, but then, you know, my whole thing, I, just, I have to re-glue it. Um, it is really old. It's got the flip top. That it's you older keep than your hemnals hemnals I mean, in. it's like green. You keep your hymnals or your sheet music in the bench. Well, yeah, it's old, old. So. Oh. Yep. I might try to find somebody. Whoa. Okay, it's old. They get it. I might try to find somebody who has a lathe to mimic it. And that would give me a new one. But then it would look different color. Uh, I don't care though, do I? I don't I know. I don't think so. Right now I have it zip tied back together and screwed up on there. But you can't sit on it. It's still there. All the parts are there. There's Moose. Hi guys, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> Moose says I just want. <laughs> don't want you in don't. my face. <laughs> He's going to look. He is a face dog. He likes to lick everybody's face and he's going to squirm until he can. <laughs> Quit messing with okay. All right, you guys are knocking the table now. Stop. Moose, that's enough. All right, you got my serious hat on now. Okay. Let's tussle. You were tussling with Moose the dog. I lost. Let's tussle something <laughs> like a win. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so anything else going on in the farmhouse? Besides, I mean, I haven't done that. Um, well, kids are oh, asleep. I made Grass soap. Grass finally calm down. Yeah, I made soap, which we're going to get our spinner's hands packages together. Um, one of the comments that I mean, I that, don't I? I've had... Yeah, you do. Um, one of the comments that I've had here lately is that um, how do I spin in the winter with my hands because... Theirs are all just so dry. Well, I use all of our all-natural products, and so I've put together some little kits, but I'm waiting for the soaps to cure for them. So, um, And I made the little bags for them already, right? Yes, and I made the little bags for them. So as soon as those wow, soaps cure, guys, they'll be ready. That's exciting. Yes, it is. You want my last bite of my last cake here? I thought you'd never ask. There you go. Um, anyway, so I've got those kits that I'm putting together. I haven't made the salve because I don't like the salve to sit any longer than um, need be, right? So um, I will get the salve made less. After the soap cures and it's ready, I'll make the salve right before it goes in them. And then they'll be posted in the shop, right? Um, <coughs> I think that's really it. Um, waiting on lambing season for like three days. We were just so tired because every two to four hours we had to be up and doing. I wouldn't go to bed till what, four? I mean, midnight and then about 3.30 dad would get up so I'd be awake again. And then I'd try to go back to sleep but then come... Eight, nine o'clock, the pig, the dog, and the lamb would want to be up, huh? Yeah. I got up, though. Yeah, he did get up at three. He fed her at three. Um, him at three, so that's okay, right? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so remember, we're going to wrap this up. Remember Acts 2, 42. That is our Bible verse <coughs> of the week. Just go out there and, and show those Christians what action you can take. What? It's kind of short. What's short? The podcast is only 24 minutes. But we fit everything in. Oh, they give me 10 minutes to be goofy. <laughs> okay, guys, on that, I'm going to spare you the ending, and we will see you next week. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.